Girls, good morning. You've got one hour to finish your packing up. Get yourselves ready and in the car, we're leaving. One hour. Okay? One hour. That's all you've got. Sup, Sloth Bell? One hour, mate. One hour and we're leaving. Make sure your case is fully packed. You ready to go? Me, La Rosa Bell, you look so cute. <laughs> Why does she look about six? Mila, look. Mimi. Oh my gosh, she looks adorable. <laughs> look at her little summer vibes outfit. <laughs> Everyone's looking super cool in their travel outfits today. We've got Esme, Alexa. Woo! So adorable. Everyone's rocking the hot pink today. Yeah. Beautiful little Miss Isla Savannah. I about the clip that Danny filmed this morning of me sitting up looking like a gnome. Oh, yeah, we had, <laughs> yeah. we had, um, they had a random midweek sleepover last night, yeah. didn't they? Didn't really? Lucky, wasn't it? Yeah, really lucky. And they did each other's yeah. hair. And with each other's hair is like heatless, heat, heatless curls. That's why we're we like bald. We're like bald. We're like double tights. That's why. Yeah, you look very cute. <laughs> but um, yeah, very yeah, very adorable yeah. today. You dancing with Isla. <laughs> 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 Good morning everyone, welcome to today's vlog and a very exciting day because we're heading off on our holiday! Yay! Oh my gosh, I was literally so excited. So we've, we're half an hour late leaving. Yeah, we were being generous with the time though, weren't we? Yeah, we'll we're still going to be at the airport three hours before. We just wanted to get there four hours before. Mainly because uh, we booked this holiday super last minute, like two days ago was it? And we couldn't, the, the flight was fully booked. The flight was like fully booked. There was like literally only our seats left scattered all over the plane. Funnily enough, we received an email yesterday saying because the flight's so busy, they've moved us to a different aircraft. So I'm hoping we can get to the airport and I'll be able to um, go and secure us some seats together. Obviously, they'll have to do something because even Jace is at the back of the plane by herself. And that's, you, you, I, I'm sure it's like 12 or something, yeah. isn't it? I'm sure even Isla can't be on her own. So they will have to hopefully move us around somehow. I don't care if we're not all sat together. I know we booked it last minute, but hopefully we'll be able to sort something out. And that's why I wanted to get there a bit early. We've left Jace's pajamas at home, so he's gonna have to sleep in a t-shirt all week. <laughs> Do you know what? If the only thing we've left at home and the only thing we've forgotten is Jace's pajamas, I think we're I think we're winning with life. To be thing. to be fair, we're calling at the post office now, the, the drop-off station for baby me. We've got a load of packages, and then we're gonna be on the road. Ah, uh, we're all ready. We're out of the car. Jason's got his Pedro hat on. Mila, look, he's so cute with your hair. Yeah, you think you think you oh, he thinks I'm calling him Pedro from Peppa Pig. Okay, no Pedro. Okay, no Pedro. You got Pedro. you got chocolate on your face, mate. <laughs> ready, Isabel? I'm so excited. I can't wait. Yeah. Got your stuff, Files. Yeah, got my scooter. Looking ready for you. Oh, yeah, he's got a scooter, scooter case going on. Let's make you good, babe. Yes. Okay, we've sent Mum to the terminal to go and sort our seat issue out. So let's go. The dreaded moment, the cases go on. <laughs> We're always overweight. We always have like, it's, like, it's like a running joke because I remember when we were little, we do like a holiday. Like, even, bad. even when we were little, we'd yeah. go on holiday to like, we'd be like Egypt or whatever. <laughs> And literally, Dad would be getting the whole suitcase out on the floor <laughs> in the airport yeah, every single time. How much does that one weigh? 22. 22, that's fine. That's the heaviest. I think we've got better now. Hand we have. So that I can ride it through the airport. Yeah, Isla put, Isla put all of her clothes and everything. All the hand luggage, all of her clothes are fitting here. It's, like, <laughs> it's a bit heavy though, cause like, because this scooter bit isn't as heavy as this, so it keeps yeah. going down a bit. Yeah. Oh, so you've got no time she's in the area. No, yeah. yeah no. Mila saying hi to everyone. Everything's okay. so oh, cute. She's so excited. <laughs> what, Isabel? It's not even funny, Mum. What, Isabel? <laughs> what, Isabel? 
We always say Isabel's the worst person like, to travel so, with. Yours has got so much room in it. <laughs> because she always no, leaves listen, toiletries and everything. Forgot. But listen, like, she's got, I was like, you've got no toiletries, have you? No, no, I've only got my makeup. She brings out the biggest makeup bag you could possibly see. Guys, I take one, I take one look at her makeup. There's razors in there. Prepared. Thank you. Yeah, I have we made, me and Isla made them, didn't we, Al? Yeah, and I've got so many things. Yeah. 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 I've worked with all the money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Isabel's just trying to get through with razors and all sorts in her bag. I forgot that those were in there. Naughty, naughty. Okay, excited now. Officially checked in, bags are gone. First time ever coming to this airport before as well. East Midlands, never been in before. It's kind of like Leeds, where I used to work, so. Got his mate freaking out. Stop. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it's so bad. That's only 27. What? That's not that bad, no. is it? Mum, it's like, it's <laughs> over 30 on online. Oh, all right. It's only saving a couple of pounds, then. They're not in if they've not got a lid on the front, they're testers, yes. Oh, I already smelled that one, because I really want to buy that one. Wait, I can't smell that one. Oh, my God, wait. Oh, I'm going to be... I mean, just like, what are you doing? JC's such a cool dude, guys. I'm sorry, but look at my little cool man. Look how cool he looks. Look at that. Look how cool he is. Perfect. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. <laughs> Ooh. You want to go on an aeroplane? Me. You. <laughs> so we're walking through the airport. What's the last? What's the last thing you want to hear a child say when you're walking through an airport? What are you doing? No, no. Oh, I'm sick. Oh That's yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Jace. Walking through just free. I'm sick, Mama. I'm really sick. I went, Are you? And he went, Yeah. I'm really sick of this scooter. <laughs> I mean, we all breathed this, uh, breathed a sigh of relief, but a relief. But um, yeah, I'm sick. I'm really sick. I'm sick going out of me. You know, I know. He was sick of his scooter. <laughs> his leg was just aching, that's why he was so sick and fed up. Anyway, it's very funny. Um, we just sat down having something to eat. <laughs> you are being so funny. <laughs> Mila's on one. You excited for your holiday? <laughs> Mila, are we doing this with the Oh no. Stop. <laughs> Sure, that's our plane. I'm really getting the hang of this. That fish with the boy went, yeah, sure, I am. Go to gate. When I got here, I went straight to the desk to check us in to try and get our seats moved. I was so grateful that I went to the Jet Two Holidays desk, not the ticket desk, but like, what is it called? Information yeah. desk. I said, I literally went, hi, we only got this holiday like two days ago, but um, there were no seats left to pre-book, and I noticed that even like my four-year-old sat by himself, and she went, oh, is it, is it, is your second day in England? I was like, yeah, she went, I just moved you guys this morning, so you're on a three and a three, I don't know. You're on a three and a three, um, so three girls want to sit together, and we can sit together. Uh... Like, really that? Concerned about where our suitcases are. Yes, darling, our cases are underneath your seat. Right underneath, there's a big, big cabin where all of our cases are. We always get a look through the window. <laughs> Although this could actually see us looking and have two windows. Yeah. The cases are underneath us. Okay, you don't need to worry. All right, so we are down on row 26. The girls are up in front of us on the other side at row 19. Loving life. <laughs> um, yeah, man, so excited. Boarded, ready to go.
What surprised me? Scared me! Yeah, guys. What are you doing, man? I'm watching Miraculous. Miraculous, you got some nice drinks going on. Yeah, I got an ice cube snake. It's like a bird again, and it was like that was me. It was so cute. Oh, is it a small one? Yeah, it's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> it's about got a tea. It's a small one. Yeah, it is. Nice. It's so nice. It's, really, it's actually normally really cold on Wednesday. It's quite warm in here. Yeah, ma'am. I said I'm making, on Minecraft, I'm making um, Taylor Swift's Aerosol a stadium. I don't know why, but I'm just doing it. Finally made it. We've just got to the airport. We've got through immigration and we're stood waiting for our bags right now. Why am I getting bumped in the head? <laughs> getting bumped to the head. <laughs> Let me just say that flight, nothing nothing to fall about Jet 2. They were great, as usual. Yes. But I kid you not. We got lucky with our seats. Yeah, we did. We were sat behind someone that had a raw curry or something the night no. before. No, this person needed to get up and go to the toilet, but she just did not. Oh, so she, maybe she killed. Help it. She killed everybody. We were patient from there and behind. Yeah, the people behind the people us. Were behind patient. us were not patient, and it was like, go to the top. <laughs> he was like, I'm, I'm actually surprised. Not, he's not drunk or anything. He's, it's like he wasn't nice about it either. Said a few things, didn't he? Can you stop farting? You're <laughs> killing us all. Can you stop? Eh. Yeah, he wasn't very Farting. polite, to be fair. Very loud. But then <laughs> <laughs> having the captain came on and he was like, Can you just hurry up and get us out of here? Your cabin stinks. <laughs> the there was there was a bit of a typical British crowd in there, you know what I'm saying, right? So me and me and me and Sarah were just like this basically most of the whole flight. Like, no, I mean because it just was. Britons don't smell. No, I mean the the the. the, the well, I mean everyone smells. No, I don't mean that, babe. I don't mean so. I mean the, the shouting, the shouting. There was a lot of. Uh, it was a it was a flight That's of people. It was no. It was a flight. Of, it was a flight of people that clapped when we landed. That's what it was. Typical. Are you a clapper, typical guys? British clap. Are you a clapper? Let's clap the pilot because he got us there safely. <laughs> don't be rude. <laughs> this is so rude and offensive. No, I'm sorry. No. I said, right. There were some feral children on there. Our children sat silent pretty much, really well behaved the whole four like and a half hours. Do. Some children, bless them, um, were not so much and they were climbing on the back of people's seats, jumping up and Can down, I kick the whole kicking time. seats. I got to the point where I had to ask them to please stop because they, they just really, it just really was like kicking me forward every time. I didn't see that. I saw the, the ones opposite us. But, um, the air hostess, the cabin crew kept coming saying, please will you stop your children from pressing the call alarm? Because they kept pressing the call alarm. Um, and even when she said that, they still didn't stop pressing the call alarm. <laughs> so I think they were getting a bit annoyed. And their deep but boss on the way back down is a lot. I was like, oh yeah. god. Ignore Jesus. Chris though, about typical Brits. I mean the shouting at the people, like, they, they, they had, they, you know, was, you know yeah, some Brits are loud, they don't care. That's what that I mean. guy behind us didn't care. No, it was, that's what I mean. It was he didn't care. He was quite rude, yeah. It was, it was nasty. It was, there, it was rude. really, it was really strong smell. Like the whole flight, four and a half hours, every like five minutes. Oh, it was so bad. But um, you know, they obviously can't help it. It wouldn't have been healthy to keep that inside. <laughs> but um, yeah, some people want to tolerate. But other than that, it was a very good flight. We're just waiting now for our luggage to come, and then we've got to go and get on our transfer. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to find. We just we get two, aren't we? So yeah, yes, I always say, jet whenever so good, it's just nice and easy. Yeah, whenever we travel, we always see Jet Two. We're not like sponsored by Jet Two or anything. We paid for our own holiday, but um, we always see Jet Two people should be bored, so they're quite cool to be able to go. Yep, yeah, we're with you. Two holidays. I don't know how long the transfer is. I don't think it's too long, maybe an hour. Hopefully not too long. Oh my goodness, we made it. <laughs> we're on the coach. We've got how long? 50? 50 minutes, did he say? About 50 minutes. Transfer until we get back to our hotel. And oh my, to get back to our hotel, like I'm just like a regular. <laughs> Brand new hotel. We haven't even said where we are actually, have we? We'll say where we are when we get to the hotel. Um, yeah, it's quite late, but I'm so. <laughs> Alright, Moody Margaret. She doesn't. Um, I was going to say something then, what was it? We are all inclusive and the buffet will still be open, everyone's starving. Yes. I'll be <laughs> so it's been like seven hours since we had up to eat. We've eaten snacks and things like that obviously, but I'm really needing a drink, that's what I'm needing. 
So about a 50 minute transfer, very grateful. The people sat opposite us on the flight said they had just over two and a half hour transfer. I would not be loving that tonight. I asked the coach driver, he said 50, maybe 55. So that is brilliant. That's how we're about to set off. It's a comfy coach as well, yeah, really nice. Yeah, you can even lay seat back. Chill out. And we have just made it to our hotel. Just checked in. The transfer was actually amazing. The transfer from the ho from the airport was 20 minutes. We made two stop, three stops, sorry, before our hotel. And so we were we were like, <clears throat> that's so cool. So I was getting very excited about over there, everything that's here right now. But um, so we were about maybe half an hour from the airport. So we were like 20 minutes to the first hotel. Then da 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 to us. Um, the hotel's insane. Like we've only walked to reception, obviously, and then up to our room. It's insane. Cannot wait to show you guys this hotel over the next coming few days. But yeah, so basically main priority right now is, now that we're checked in, we're gonna go and down to the restaurant that's open. The buffet has closed, because it's a little bit late. What time actually is it? Well, there's actually quite a few buffets here, so it depends which one you mean. So yeah, that's where we're going right now. We're gonna go down to the night restaurant. So I don't know what that is, so let's go. And we just got back from dinner. We checked into the hotel, and it's just absolutely blooming beautiful. <laughs> it's like, I think this might be the best hotel we've ever stayed so in. Nice. So fancy and nice. It's beautiful, we'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Um, but right now, I guess lots of you are thinking, where are you guys? Where on earth have you gone? <laughs> so comment your guesses down below, because the girls are about to tell you where we've gone. Okay girls, are you ready to tell everyone where we have gone? Yeah. For this little trip. Comment down below, we're about to let you know. After three, we have come, come to two, one, two. <laughs> Oh my god. We've come to Turkey. We have been to Turkey a couple of times. I don't very little. I've been about seven I times. I don't, like I don't remember I don't remember coming here been to Turkey. Mm, no. I don't uh, it's never. Unless no. Did. no, you did as well quite a few times. Of, um good memories from when we came to Turkey when I was really little I can still yeah. remember it. Which really yeah. weird. Yeah, my nana and granddad moved to Turkey, got ripped off yeah. for their whole, whole life savings. I know, so I had to come back home. So, not the best, yeah. but um, we did have some lovely holidays here as a oh child. My gosh, that, that, that time on the mountain when we were driving up and we. My granddad. Oh my gosh. We got yeah, so my granddad weird. like nearly took his glove box out. Yeah. No, not his glove box, his gear box. Yeah. His gear box out. Yeah, so when my nana and granddad were thought they were buying a house, thought they were buying a villa out here. And they rented one for a while, for like a couple of years. We came out quite a few times to visit them when the Esme, Esme and Isabel were quite young. And we had some nice memories. Uh, but they didn't live in the touristy, they lived near Altincum. So that is a touristy area. But um, we're, not, we're, we're not in that area this time. But we'll tell you all about that tomorrow. Place. It looks amazing. Amazing. It looks so, like, the view really out of our windows is incredible. Yeah, the view from our rooms is amazing. We'll show you guys all of it tomorrow. But that's it for tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. I know it's a bit of a shorter vlog, but we'll be back tomorrow and all week. Yes. With so much fun. Yay. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night, guys. Bye.